You guys, in this video, we are gonna set up a tripod. We have a Bobcat Miner. We're gonna set everything up. I'm gonna show you guys what we bought. Everything is bought on Amazon, except for this pole right here, which is from Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever you guys wanna get it on. But uh, let me show you guys what it looks like before we get started. This is a 10 foot pole. Eight foot. It's an eight foot pole, correction. So we're gonna mount the antenna all the way up here. We have a six DVI antenna it's 915 megahertz so depending if you guys live in the u.s that's what it is 915 if you guys live somewhere else you got to do your research but we're going to set this up show you guys our setup and we're going to show you guys how much we're going to be earning right now we're only earning around 0.15 hnt a day and that's a setup that's in the in the window so we're definitely going to step up our game here and see how much we're going to earn afterwards so let's get started Okay, first we want to start with the base, you guys. We put two by fours. We got three two by fours, as you guys can see. And then we also have sandbags. So we put sandbags at the edge of each one. These two by fours, it looks like they're about four feet. So we got four feet two by fours, right? We got three of them. And we ended up doing, on this one we have three screws, but the other ones we only have the two outer screws. So it's up to you guys if you want to put all three, but I advise to put at least two screws, these outer ones right here. So now you guys can see the base is nice it's secure and we're ready already to put the the pole on top but we want to attach all of all the things we have like the the antenna the lightning arrester and then get the cable all that set up then we're going to put it on the pole and then we're going to put it over here but this is an easier install than the last one we did if you guys saw that one it has a uh it's a regular like antenna pole and so if you guys want to check that out i'll definitely link that down below in the description box so let's keep it rolling so now I want to talk about the whole connection, the, an the antenna, we got the lightning arrester, and then this is the 400 LMR. So I'll be talking about which connection is which, but you guys, just so you know, I have a link in the description box. It goes to Amazon and it has everything you guys need in that one link. Okay, so this is a six DVI antenna right here. And it has the, this is called the N-type male connector, right? You guys could see right there in the very middle is a, is a point, right? It's pointy. And then it has this uh, the screw adapter, right? So this is gonna go into the lightning arrester and this is the lightning arrester right here. If a lightning bolt hits like close by, this is gonna help protect it, right? It's gonna help so like if there's a electricity, um, static electricity in the air, this will take care of it and it's not gonna mess up your miner. If a, a actual lightning bolt hits this, it's probably gonna fry your miner, but the thing is we're gonna have a grounding uh, wire connected to here and it's gonna go into a grounding rod. I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but that's gonna make it so your roof doesn't turn on fire, right? So it's definitely a safety uh, issue if you do not have one of, things, one of these things in right here. Okay, so one side, this is the end type, but now this is the female. It looks like a male because there's a little point in there, but there's a, there's a hole inside that point, right? So what you do is these go together like so, and you, all you're doing is screwing it in, right? You wanna make sure it's nice and tight because we're putting this on the roof, so we're, we're not just able to come up here anytime we want, but, uh, but this is a definitely better setup than the last time. This is like a one-man job up here versus uh, over there, okay, on my other video. Okay, so this is an LMR 400 cable. So this is a good uh, width of the cable and it's less DVI loss, also from Amazon. So you guys wanna make note that this is actually a female connector and this is the N-type connector, right? All these are N-types, but this is the female. We have another male right here and you guys could see the male, there's this pointy tip and then the female has that hole right there, okay? And we're just doing the same exact thing we did here on the other one. We're just screwing this in. And you guys, I just want you to pay attention to all the connections because like when you go down there in the Amazon link that I have, there's just different antennas and different uh, connectors because I have different videos up. So you just wanna make sure you're getting the right one because in my other video, I believe uh, this connector was a male, okay? And then this side was a female. So I just want you guys to uh, make sure you guys know what you're doing there, okay? So make sure um, you're doing the right connection. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the grounding wire right in here. And the, like I said, the grounding wire, just in case there's electricity that hits, 
you know, it's going to go to the grounding rod and the electricity is going to get released into the ground and hopefully, um, you know, doesn't start a fire on the roof or any of that good stuff. You guys want to consult with a professional before you do any of this stuff. I am not an electrician. I'm just a little bit of a handyman. So make sure you seek uh, professional advice if you guys are starting to do any of this stuff, you guys. Um, I'm helping you guys out as much as I can, but I am not a professional, okay? So next I have the 12 gauge grounding wire this is it right here also from amazon you guys and this is the 50 footer but there are different lengths so if you guys uh, are need a shorter one you know definitely go for the shorter one it's probably going to be uh, most uh cost efficient for you guys so this is what it looks like right here you guys do have this plastic protector that goes on here and we do have some wire cutters which are right here all right you guys can see that i used the wire cutters and I just cut off a piece right here. If you guys don't have wire cutters, just get a little knife and kind of cut around and then just pull the, the X's, okay? So now we just gotta undo these and I'll show you how it goes into the lightning arrestor. So the grounding wire goes right into this red little plastic uh, tube right here. And all we have to do is pinch it so it grabs it nice and tight, okay? Okay, so what I ended up doing is I went with the grounding wire, I went all the way through and I came back around so it's it's bent, right? So that way it doesn't fall off. So now the, the grounding wire is touching the metal that's inside this plastic red uh, little tube right here. So it is on there and it is ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie it just to keep everything nice and tight and together. And then I'm gonna show you guys the tape that I got for this, uh, it's kind of like, oh, weatherproofing tape so i want to show you guys what that looks like okay so there's the zip ties on here okay it is not going anywhere you could tug on it it's good to go so now i'm going to use the self bonding silicone wrap this is it right here it's also known as repair tape uh, it's used for different things as far as cables plumbers use it also but uh, i'm going to show you guys how it works so we, before we put the wrap on here you just want to make sure everything's nice and tight because you're going to have to climb up here and do it if it's not Okay, you want to maximize your uh, HNT profit. So we're going to go ahead and start placing this on. And it's pretty cool because it, it wraps to itself. You guys are going to see in a second. So this is going to weatherproof if it's raining. You got the elements outside and all that good stuff. This is going to help protect it. Okay, you guys, I just cut it. I want to show you like the last piece of it. All you have to do is kind of like stretch it and it adheres to itself just like that. So you guys could see that it is nice and weatherproof. Nothing's getting in here and it's also keeping the grounding wire nice and tight. Okay, so now we're going to actually show you guys the mounts. I have the mounts right here and what we're going to do, we're going to put this on right here and then we're going to put this on behind it and then we're going to attach it to the pole. I just screwed in these four right here. Let me turn around so you guys can see. This is what it's looking like. It's nice and tight, okay? So now we're gonna be um, actually attaching this bracket to the pole. We have the pole right here, you guys. So you guys can see it right here. I wanna say it's an inch and a half in diameter. This is a fence pole. So you guys, if you're gonna go to Home Depot, go to the fence section. If I can find this on Amazon, I'll link it below. But uh, if it's not, just go to Home Depot. Both. You just go to Lowe's and you guys will find it, not Home Depot, even though they're both, it's going to be both there. Okay, we got the four secured on here. And as you guys can see, we have clearance. So it's like right on the line. But what you want to do is have the antenna just straight up clearing the base right here. I did another one where um, it wasn't clearing it and what it does is it blocks so it kind of prevents you from earning the most possible HNT. So you guys want to make sure there's clearance and this one you guys it's like right on the money right there. I say it's good. You guys can see boom. So it's right on the money. This one's good but like it's it's kind of too close for comfort. But uh, when you guys do your setup just make sure you guys are clearing so you have a 360 instead of having a blockage on one side because of the pole. So now we're going to get the pole onto the base. So let's get it. Okay, now it's time to put it on. Like I said, you guys, this is eight foot pole and it just goes in like so. Okay, ooh, nice and secure. Okay, so we do have three bolts right here at the top and then we have three over here. We wanna make sure as we're screwing it in, we're gonna be checking if the pole's level. The homie Pat has to level it, he's ready to go. <laughs> There you go. That's how you level it right there. <laughs> it's perfectly good. level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
right, you guys, we're gonna be checking the level right here and we're gonna be slowly screwing in all these parts, okay? All right, you guys, it's looking good. We have everything screwed on. Everything is looking legit. As you guys can see, sandbags are ready. We threw the cords over the edge. So we have the grounding and then the LMR 400 cord. And then we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna do out the outside to bring it inside and then the connecting. <laughs> All right guys, so we came down off the roof. Uh, the first thing I did is I put a little like rivet right here. That way it's holding everything nice and tight and there's wood right here. So we're just gonna draw it all the way straight down like so. And this is where it's gonna go inside the house. The miner is right here. So like we barely have any extra slack left over. You guys, this is a drip loop. So what happens is water will come down here and it's supposed to drip down at the lowest point so if we didn't have this here the water would just go straight through there and then the water would go inside the house we're trying to protect the house it, even though it is the garage just like our other setup we still want to protect the house so we just put a little drip loop nothing crazy on the inside there is zero slack this is a 25 foot lmr 400 cable you guys there's different sizes so depending on what you guys need you know uh go with your best bet and just have a little bit of slack you guys already know like the longer the cable the more loss you're gonna have so try not to get too much extra slack okay and then the other thing is i also ran the grounding wire and i did i kind of did a little wrap around just to have extra right but we do have a grounding rod right here and i bought this little uh, thing from amazon so this is what I got from Amazon right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on here. Let me actually show you guys and unscrew it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter, but what this is, is this is all made out of copper and this is a copper grounding rod right here. It should be four feet or longer, but uh, this is the house was already set up with it. I'll be linking down a uh, four foot uh, rod just in case you guys need it. You're supposed to dig it down into the dirt and just kind of hammer it in there. Okay, so I need to strip this end still, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it right in there and have the copper touching the copper. So we're gonna be grounded and all that good stuff. I do have my wire cutters here. So let's just strip out a little bit of it. Okay, so just like that, we stripped it out. All we have to do is put it in here. We're gonna give it a little bend like so. And then we're gonna try to keep this off the ground too. So it's gonna look something like this. And all we have to do is screw this in. And you guys, just like that, we are nice and grounded. So now we can actually go inside and uh, set up the miner. We're now inside the garage. This is where we put the LMR 400 core through. You guys can see that was the outside. We just put it through. The drip loop is right here. The grounding wire is right here. And then uh, I just went ahead and screwed the base on. I do like the base what the Bobcats uh, do because you guys, you could put them right on the wall. Uh, rack wireless does not have that. Okay, uh, rack. So we're gonna screw it in. We're gonna make sure it's not plugged in. You guys roasted me. What I did before is I had it plugged in and then I put the the connection right so what you want to do is connect it make sure everything's good to go and then you want to plug it into the to the wall so it's going to be kind of hard to put this in here at an angle but i'm just going to be screwing it in right you guys it was kind of tough to um go ahead and hook this up because i'm in a corner so we did finally end up getting this screwed in we have the mount ready to go so all we're gonna have to do is push down on it so we're good that cord's there so the last thing you want to do is go ahead and plug it in and you guys can see it just changed colors it's supposed to go to green so it's sinking right now once it turns to green you guys are good to go